Hey folks, welcome to day 12 of 30 days of Laravel. Today we are going to talk about custom collections. And this is going to be a short video. If you want to learn more about custom collections, watch this one and then watch my other video on custom collections that has more, more stuff in it. And so first we got to understand what a collection is. We have this page, right? And whenever we return data from Eloquent and Eloquent is Laravel's ORM, it's what we are using to query the database. We get what we call a collection. So if I were to go and dump and die this, you can see that we have an instance of this collection class. And a collection is basically a superset of an array. So it has an array of data and it has several methods that allows us to deal with the data in a more comprehensive way. For instance, um, if I want to get the first item there, I can call first. Now, you cannot call this on an array, but you can call this on a collection. If I want to filter it, I can filter it any way I want, for instance. Oh, let's see this one. I want to filter one that has the title Google, so I could pass a function here with the post as an argument, and I would return a constraint. So I want a post where the title equals Google. So it is going to iterate through the collection and only get the, the posts that fit this condition. So if I were to run this, we get one post. This would be the same as array filter. Anyway, it's something very useful. And what many people don't know is that you can write your own custom collection. So for instance, if the default collection doesn't have a method that would be really, really helpful for you, um, you can indeed create your own custom collection and use it instead. For instance, I'm going to jump and die this, skip this as it is, so we can take a look at this, right? Um, let me show you guys something. If we go into the post model, which is the one we are talking about, and we create a method called new collection, take a look at this. The model uh, class also has this method, create a new eloquent collection instance. And what we're going to do is we are going to override this method and I'm going to copy this array models. So this is the argument and I'm going to return a new collection. I'm going to create it right now. So I'm going to create a file under app. I'm going to put it under collections and call it post collection like this. So we have namespace app collections, class post collection, and it needs to extend the eloquent collection. So I'm going to extend collection. And I'm going to import this class, Eloquent Collection, like this. Now, we're not going to put any, any, um, any data here, any methods for now. I'm just going to say return new post collection. I'm going to import it and passing the models. Now, let me re refresh this. Okay, now you can see that we are getting an instance of post collection. So we are already using our custom collection per model. So this is the collection that the post model is going to use. So for instance, if I wanted to get the, the sites that use Google as a link, uh, which is this first one, if I'm not mistaken, let's take a look. Yeah, so to, um, I'm sorry, the tie always Google. So if we were to, I don't know, we could say something like um, with Google as title, something like that. I'm just saying something out of my mind. So if, I don't know, something like that. We could go into the collection and we could put this inciting method. And as we are inside the collection, we could just return this and say where title equals Google. So, right? Yeah. And if I refresh it, you can see that it works. So, this is a simple scenario, but the possibilities that this gives you are limitless. And this is how you create a custom collection. If you want to learn more about this, I have a very complete video on the subject and you're going to find the link on the email I sent you. So take a look there and take a look at the video. You're probably going to learn a lot. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.